right, guys. So, this video is for Trisha Pedos. Hello, and <laughs> congratulations, and well, welcome to the vegan community. First of all, like, wow, I'm proud of you, and uh, along with uh, like an endless amount of vegans that are proud of you for doing this. And, you know, I thought I would help you and, you know, just show you a bunch of ways to eat vegan food without, you know, like feeling hungry all the time or, you know, just craving the bad foods that are, you know, not vegan. So, what I have decided to do is I have food right here. Soup. That has beans, it has some pasta that's, of course, vegan, it's, there's no eggs involved, uh, some cauliflower and a bunch of different spices and, you know, some, just a bunch of vegetables. And some, of course, vegetable broth that I made myself. Um, the vegetable broth I made was just a bunch of different vegetables like parsley and celery and carrots and just um, some onions as well and of course garlic. I, I prefer to use fresh garlic when I'm making food but you know it's, it's different for everybody. Um, but also I use those vegetables in the soup as well and it's best to sometimes use this uh, broth for different things like um, you can use it for um, for making like vegan chicken and I'll link that down below so you can check that out um, because I made vegan chicken and it was so delicious and trust me you will love it I like it's it doesn't taste exactly like chicken so you won't feel guilty about it but of course it tastes delicious and you will love it because it's delicious also if you're feeling like you kind of want to you know have the junk food cravings and whatever and um, if you're kind of like you know I want some PB and J and you know Especially if you're going to be exercising and, you know, practicing for your workouts and your dance routines and stuff like that. I suggest, I know this uh, kind of looks weird, but <laughs> this is a PB&J burrito. And uh, there's three of these right here. And they're actually really delicious. And, um... The jam is, is, well, jelly, it's made from plums, and it's all natural because uh, my, my sister's grandmother made it, um, and it's great, and it's, there's no preservatives other than, like, regular sugars, just plums and sugar, and cooked together just so it's preserved like that. So it's not like extra preserved like in stores. And the peanut butter, of course, that's that's regular peanut butter, but like there's no there's no like dairy kind of cream to like make it extra creamy. Um, you can also make it yourself. All you have to do is just put some coconut oil and some peanuts and just blend it up. And um, if you want to preserve it put a little bit of sugar in it um, you don't have to put so much uh, sugar if you're not gonna be like you know keeping it in the fridge for a long time um, but definitely keep those both in the fridge um, and also on top of that I have a bunch of different things that I have made in the past like uh, a raw vegan chocolate cake and uh, different different like raw vegan cakes that you can try and I'll link them down below or you know I'll link them here um, you know it's I'm so like proud of you for doing this and you're you're an amazing woman and you know I like to look up to you because you know you show that 
You know, you don't have to be like self-conscious about your body to to be happy. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Um, of course you know what I mean. But you know, you don't have to be like super thick thin to, to be happy um, with who you are. But as well, the fact that you're being vegan is showing that like you're putting your health and it's it's just it's amazing that you're you've got this confidence and that you're also showing that you're being vegan like you're at least you're trying it out which is which is awesome so so thank you for that uh you and freely are like one of the biggest like motivators for me um to be who I am because you know you don't have to um, you don't have to worry about how you look but also uh, you know be healthy like worry about health and stuff like that that's that's the mix of you and freely which is great so I will have a bunch of links down below and the top kind of things that you know you should check out I'll I'll have them in the cards over here uh, or here or I don't know which side it'll be but <laughs> you know I love you and thank you and you're awesome and yeah so <laughs> enjoy and you know what you, you don't have to worry about you know starving yourself on a vegan diet because you know what diet means? It means lifestyle. It, that's what it is. Vegan diet is it's a lifestyle change. And you know, you can do it slowly and you don't have to go raw to the floor like freely. You can have some vegan junk food and you're you're in LA and you know that's like that's a hot spot for vegan restaurants and stuff like that. So if you're feeling like you don't want to be eating just raw fruits and veggies all day, then you have the options. And of course, here in Toronto, there are so many different options as well, but definitely not as much as LA, which is pretty awesome for you. So uh, yeah, love you, and I will hope to hear from you so love you bye if you like that please come back for more like subscribe and be sure to tell your friends I swear it's not a chore love you guys bye